All right. We almost timed it perfectly. We were like two seconds a little quick on Instagram, but hello everyone. And welcome to what's in the warehouse. I am Gwen. I'm Dr. Judy's daughter, and I'm also the COO of Naturally Healthy Pets, which is the company she founded to empower and educate par pet parents worldwide. So here we are, another What's in the Warehouse. Today, we have a few extra special surprises that we don't normally have in a Wednesday What's in the Warehouse. We also have to remind you that this is basically the last few days to get things in time for Christmas. So everybody is shipping right now, so you might see delays with the USPS, UPS. Make sure to get any of your Christmas gift shopping online done now. Don't wait. Do it now. Today, tomorrow, I think tomorrow is technically the last day that they start, they stop guaranteeing. So if you need to shop for Christmas, please do it now. It's also Hanukkah. So you can get some Hanukkah presents, but they won't be shipped out until tomorrow at this point. Um, okay. So to start off, I just want to remind everybody that we have our holiday recipes ebook for dogs on drjudymorin.com. Everything we talk about today is going to be on drjudymorin.com, which means Dr. Judy approves of it, the ingredients, and the company that it came from. So it is a very important badge of honor to be at drjudymorin.com. But we came up with this really fun little holiday recipes ebook. It has 12 different recipes. We made one of the dehydrated recipes. If you ca caught us live on Friday, that was fun um, with our martinis. No martinis today, but that's okay. Um, and it has also the Feast of the Seven Fishes for dogs. It has a full uh, holiday dinner that is complete and balanced as well. It has a lot of treat ideas for cute little holiday treats for our dogs. There's uh, little ginger snap recipes, all sorts of stuff. So if you like being in the kitchen with your pet, you don't have to have any baking skills. They're very simple. We can all make them. Go ahead and get the holiday recipes ebook at drgmorgan.com. Okay, so now is our first very exciting announcement. If you caught us live, you may have heard me say that this is exclusive to drgmorgan.com until Monday, 1218. But Real Mushrooms just came out with this awesome new product called the Daily Dog. It's a little bit hard to see. Um, but we all know and love the real mushrooms, actual mushroom powders. You can get them as individual mushroom extracts. You can also get something called five defenders, which is five of the mushroom extracts all together. So the daily dog has that and a whole bunch more. So basically it has medicinal mushrooms, it has some adaptogens in here. It also has um, fucodins, which I read this and I was like, what the heck is that? And I started researching it. It's really cool. It's, it can be found in seaweed, but it's a, an, an antioxidant that's also a wonderful immune booster with a lot of science behind it. So the cool thing about Real Mushrooms is they partnered with a guy called Dr. Rob Silver, and he's very well known in the holistic veterinary industry. He, I think at the AHVMA, he won an award for something, I remember. Um, but he is a very, very smart veterinarian and he is a wonderful formulator. So they brought him on board to basically find ways to incorporate their very high quality medicinal mushrooms with other pet products or things that are helpful for pets. And Dr. Rob is, I mean, he's been doing it for many years. He's, he's infamous in the industry for formulating. So he put together this formulation. Um, and I'll read some of the ingredients. There's a lot of them, but five defenders is just one of the ingredients. That's the turkey tail, reishi, maitake, shiitake, and chaga. They also added two more mushrooms to that, so not included in the five defenders, but in this daily dog supplement is lion's mane, great for cognition, cognitive function, nerve function, cordyceps mushroom, which we just talked about with the respiratory virus. It's very helpful for lung function, also kidney function, so we're going to be talking about kidneys coming up next year. Um, so it actually has seven different types of mushrooms in it. It also has ashwagandha, which is wonderful. It's like a calming stress stress relief supplement, the Fucodin, uh, which is the wonderful super immune booster I just learned about thanks to Dr. Rob, has milk thistle, which is great for the liver, chlorella, which is a nice superfood. It also has two different kinds of beneficial yeasts. I was like, oh my gosh, you even remember the beneficial yeasts. So it has Saccharomyces boulardii, which we just talked about. Dr. Connor did a whole podcast just on that one strain of beneficial yeast. It also has Saccharomyces cerve cervicea. 
Um, and it has a few other ingredients. So this is jam packed with pretty much, if you went down a list of all of the wonderful immune support supplements, this probably takes, um, all of them put into one. If you add a little bit of, I don't know, bone broth or something along those lines, you could add some colostrum and you've got a little slurry of all of the wonderful immune boosting things that you can put in one bowl. So this is daily dog. It is exclusive at drjudymorgan.com until Monday. We are going to sell out because I did not predict it would be as popular as it has been already. We just started talking about it, but that's a good sign. So we do have more coming on Monday. If it does back order, it will ship out on Monday. But at that point, retailers and Real Mushrooms and everybody else should be shipping out too. But if you want to get in on Daily Dog early, you can get it this week from us exclusively. Thank you so much to Real Mushrooms for giving us that opportunity. It's a really, really um, cool opportunity. So also from Real Mushrooms, which is slightly less exciting, is two of their creamer products. So um, we we received samples just for us to use in the office because these are actual human grade coffee or tea creamers. So there's a coconut and there's a dairy. Um, so Obviously, you can use this with your coffee or tea in the morning. I do, but I will say it does not replace your traditional creamer. It's a limited ingredient mixture that really is just trying to make the five defenders mushroom mix a little bit more palatable. So even for my pets, I would say there's a little bit of maple sugar in here, just a little bit. Um, probably avoid with your diabetic pets, but I would still share this with my dog, either the coconut or the dairy one. The ingredients are very simple. It's organic coconut milk powder, the five defenders, some maple sugar, and some cinnamon. All fine for my dog. Especially for those picky pets that don't like the taste of the straight mushroom powder. They can be a little bit bitter, a little bit hard to mix into things. The dairy especially might be good. It, the first ingredient is just organic cream. So... This is basically a more palatable version of Five Defenders. If you're going to mix it into your coffee, I would suggest if you like cream, keeping a little bit of cream and mixing this in. I don't think it replaces a creamer, but it definitely makes the Five Defenders mix way more palatable. Um, some of the mushrooms, I, <laughs> my boyfriend um, got a, a stark realization when he started dating me when I was like, oh, just put some of this in your coffee. Like you won't even taste it. And he's like, I, that has a strong, bitter taste. I do not like that. So anyway. This is a lot more palatable and a fun way to incorporate mushrooms. Almost as fun as the Daily Dog. Okay, next we're going to jump to a different brand. This brand is Wolf Creek. We have a whole line of supplements from them, but they also created these really nice little limited ingredient treats. They are freeze dried, so they're like the nugget, the dry nugget uh, consistency texture might be a little bit tough for our dogs that don't have any teeth, but that you can break them apart. They have been a big hit in the office. They sent us samples and all the dogs love them. The ingredients are just uh, duck with bone, duck gizzard, duck liver, duck heart, rabbit with bone, and blueberries. So a nice duck, rabbit, blueberry little nugget. These would be great for if you have like the snuffle mats, I think is what they're called, or the little toys that you can put training treats in. These would make great little training treats or puzzle treats because they're nice little freeze dried nuggets. Okay. Next on our list, we're jumping brands again. We're going to jump to Biostar. Who signed up to be a silver sponsor for the Naturally Healthy Pets experience? Yay, Biostar. Um, and the company is owned by a woman named Tigger. And I just love that she goes by Tigger. I've always wanted to meet her. And she is really big also in the horse industry. So I grew up a horse girl. I'm very excited just to be able to meet all these people in one room. And if you haven't gotten your tickets for the Naturally Healthy Pets experience, um, they're going fast. And we definitely are going to sell out, especially if the VIP is going to sell out first. So get your tickets now before you're left out next year. Anyway, back to Biostar. We have two new products from them called Integral Canine. These are labeled for dogs only. They're powders. And these both have a few similar ingredients, but they are not the same. So one is a variation called Goat Whey, which basically it has Goat Whey added in along with the collagen. And the other one is Salmon. So they actually use Salmon Collagen and eggshell membrane collagen together 
which I thought was interesting. Plus, it has bovine colostrum, lion's mane, and holy basil. So this is really great for joints. Um, also would be great for skin and coat. I would say cognitive function. Um, it's pretty it's pretty nice to put those things together, both types of collagen plus some mushrooms, great for cognitive function. And it have, has a little bit of apple pectin, which is probably just mostly a fiber source. Um, and then the goat whey has undenatured goat whey as the first ingredient. It also has barley grass, which is really nice. Bovine colostrum, eggshell mush membrane, lion's mane, holy basil. So they're pretty similar. But one has salmon memory, uh, salmon collagen, and the other one has goat whey, and they both have eggshell membrane collagen. And as a reminder, the eggshell membrane is different from the eggshell. So when we're talking about the eggshell powders, that's mostly for minerals, it's mostly a calcium source. We're talking about the eggshell membrane, which is that little layer between the shell and the actual yolk and white. Uh, that is really rich in collagen. So that little film that some people are really dedicated every time they crack an egg and they'll peel the film and give it to their dog. Uh, or you could have it in this nice little powder form with some extra superfood ingredients. Okay. Very popular request. We have all of the new SKUs from Green Juju. So you've probably heard they launched two new complete diets. So the first one was goat goat recipe, very similar to their other complete recipes. They are complete and balanced for dogs. They are limited ingredients. So the goat has goat heart, goat with bone, goat liver, goat kidney, parsley, and kelp. That's it. So it's a really great limited ingredient diet that you can add whatever toppers and things you want to, or if you're just, you have a, an allergy dog that's really struggling and you just want to do a single ingredient diet to see if there's any potential food sensitivities, Green Juju is a great brand to try out. The lamb is just lamb heart, lamb liver, lamb necks with bone, collard greens, and kelp. So one, the goat has parsley. The lamb has collard greens, but very similar. And these are complete diets. These are the same size as the, the bags we currently carry. So we now have six different types of green juju complete diets, six different flavors. So there's something for everybody. They also just made the list, Susan Thixton's list for 2024. Green Juju was one of the brands on there. And she is a consumer advocate and she makes these companies actually show paperwork, showing their sourcing, their manufacturing, um, collects a whole bunch of information about them, the cost to make the food and buy the food. So if you're interested at all in a consumer advocate report on some of the high quality pet foods that are available, Green Juju did make that list. And and it's just at truthaboutpetfood.com, I think, slash the list. But if you just look up Susan Thixton's list, you'll see it too. Also from Green Juju, we have their new treats, which is called Goat Purple. We got it in two sizes. Uh, I think it's three ounce and 7.5 ounces. So the small three ounce, large 7.5 ounces. They're the same exact thing, just different sizes. Um, and these ingredients are goat heart, goat, goat liver, goat kidney, organic blackberries, organic purple cabbage, and organic purple carrots. It was a really cool mix. These are a little bit harder. Um, the, the green juju treats, some of them can be quite soft and actually like very easy to crumble on top of food. Others are harder, more like a trading treat consistency. I think these are probably on the harder end of the spectrum, more like the beef red. The salmon blue and the duck orange are both pretty soft. So if you have a senior with not a lot of teeth, those would be wonderful to try. These are a little bit harder. I'm sure they'll crumble up too, but they're more like the beef red consistency. If you know what I'm talking about on the green juju scale of hardness, it's like an official scale that we should patent. Okay, so this is goat purple from green juju. We just got these in. Next, we have three new test kits from VDI Labs. 
you may have tuned in with Dr. Randy when he did a live with Dr. Judy on these test kits, but he um, is a very, very smart person. And they have a lot of these test kits available for veterinarians, but they're also bringing them to consumers. So we have a few kits that they are allowing us to sell directly to the consumer, basically how it works. Depending on the kit, some of them are blood draws. So you'd have to take the kit to your veterinarian and they just have to help with the actual blood draw, but you can still, you know, get copies of the results and and send it in and do all of the, the labor intensive part. And then one of them is by stool sample. So you don't even need to go to the vet for that. You can just obviously collect a stool sample at home, use a test kit, send it in. So these are really helpful for getting more information from your pet. And it doesn't even matter if your veterinarian doesn't do this type of testing. You're providing the test kit. They just have to either help you with the sample or just receive the results. So they make it much easier for pet parents to get more information. Um, so I guess the first one, I'll just talk about the, the gut microbiome panel. So it's the gastrointestinal microbiome panel. It's just a stool sample. So a, a dog or cat, you can use this test kit. You send in the sample, you get the results. And if there's any type of action steps or suggestions, they will give you like a little report as well. So this is all about gastrointestinal health. It has thousands of different markers as far as the gut microbiome with bacteria and yeasts and all sorts of things. So this is a very, very expansive test kit. If your pet is having any type of GI issues recurrent that you really can't get to the bottom of, something like this can give you a lot of information. So that way you're not constantly repeating the same cycle of, of having uh, a pet with loose stool or issues with their, their GI health. So this is the GI microbiome panel by VDI Labs. The next one is the glyphosate panel. This is actually a urine test kit. Um, and we're seeing more and more. So glyphosate is Roundup and it's used so heavily, especially in crops uh, across the U.S., but in many other parts of the world as well, that it's showing up in our food supply. It's showing up um, also in our pets. So in their hair, in their urine, we're finding high concentrations of it, and it can really wreak havoc in the body. I know when um, Dr. Judy's dog was diagnosed with cancer, one of the tests that Dr. Kendra Pope, who is an integrative oncologist, wanted to run, run was the glyphosate panel because you actually can help them detox from glyphosates and it can cause a lot of issues. So if your pet has uh, any, any type of issue, really like cancer, allergies, gut microbiome issues, uh, doing a glyphosate panel to see what their exposure level has been can be very helpful information or things to rule out um, as far as what they're struggling with. So thank you, VDI Labs. This one I know will be very popular, the glyphosate test kit. That's a urine test kit. I think I said that. And then the last one is the mineral and toxic metal fur analysis. Um, so basically, if there are heavy metals or minerals that are accumulating in your pet's body, or if they're lacking in a certain mineral. Um, so this, I believe you can do at home because it's just a hair. This is a hair sample. Uh, it has four, 29 tests, including four toxic metals, arsenic, cadmium, mercury, and lead. Again, um, really helpful if you're investigating some type of recurring issue with your pet, you really can't get to the bottom of it. Uh, a lot of these types of test kits will give you tons of information to either rule things out or if there is an issue that uh, you may need to remedy. So this is the mineral and toxic metal for analysis kit from VDI Labs. Last but certainly not least, we have Canine Skin Rescue. Uh, do we supply the UK? No, we do not supply internationally, but you should check out Paul Dega or Holistic Vet Limited, which is Dr. Nick Thompson. I think both of those can service the UK. And if you're in Canada, check out Dogs Age Canada because they sell all of our, to our Canadian people. So, um, anyway, last but certainly not least is Canine Skin Rescue. I believe it's pronounced Lao is the uh, company name, but it's from Hawaii. And uh, Dr. G actually sent a sample of this and she used it on her own dog, Charlie. He had this really nasty little growth that would not go away. We put a bunch of CBD on it, all sorts of topical things. It was just oozy and angry and did not look 
good. Um, and so she and ended up scheduling surgery to have it removed and biopsied to figure out what it is, see if it's a mast cell tumor or something more aggressive. And um, in the meantime, she got this sample and she put it on there. It's actually a sulfur based product. It's from Hawaii. They use volcanic ash, I believe. Um, and it also, yeah, so it has organic Hawaiian volcanic sulfur and also organic aloe. Um, so it's a sulfur based wound cream and it was one of the only things that actually helped to dry up this oozy growth and prevent it from being really angry and moist until surgery time. So she was very impressed with it. She thought that this would definitely be um, a great option for those pets that have like those open oozy spots, whether it's a hot spot, a growth, something like that. Uh, cause this really dried it up and was one of the few things that kept it under control until surgery. So this is called canine skin rescue. And it's just those ingredients, just organic aloe and organic Hawaiian volcanic sulfur. It's pretty cool. It's a very unique product. We had not seen anything like this before, and it really didn't act the same as the other wound bombs that we were putting on this big oozy spot. It really um, helped to dry it up and get it under control very quickly. Uh, so we do have a few other topical options. You might want to look around, see what is best for your specific wound or scratch or skin irritation. Uh, but definitely, if you need something that is sulfur-based, this is great, and it's organic from Hawaii. Uh, you can also use it on fungus, burns, wounds, and mange. Ooh, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, also on dry paws and crusty noses. Yeah, there's all sorts of different uses for it. All, all topical lumps, bumps, oozies, burns, things like that. Um, okay, I think that's it for today. As a reminder... This is basically the last time to shop to get stuff by Christmas. You can also, if you have a loved one that's a big Dr. Judy fan, you can get them a ticket to the experience as a Christmas gift. Uh, Dr. Judy told me today that she's offering if you, if you buy tickets to the experience and you email us, she will send whoever the recipient is a custom video of, of her welcoming you to the experience. Apparently, a husband bought tickets and asked Dr. Judy if she would do a video welcoming his wife as a present and say, you know, can't wait to see you at Dr. Judy Morgan's experience. Uh, and she said, she was like, yeah, it was awesome. I'll do that for more people. So there you go. Now you have it. If you buy a ticket and you email us, she'll make a custom video welcoming you to the experience. Can't beat that, man. All right. See everybody later and uh, have a happy holiday.